Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. This is me, Dr. Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel, that is Dr. Jahangir Khan. Well, today we are going to discuss uh, another very important topic, that is pulmonary tuberculosis. So, the very important things in pulmonary tuberculosis is point number one whether this is the B positive pulmonary TB or B negative. Now, this is very important. I am starting from very basic. This is very important whether this is B, B positive pulmonary TB or B negative. B positive pulmonary TB mean bacteriologically confirmed pulmonary TB. B positive mean bacteriologically confirmed pulmonary TB. And B negative means bacteriologically not confirmed. Bacteriologically not confirmed. Now we will discuss in the future lecture what is its significance when we study the smutum smear at the end of the second month or fifth month or sixth month if that is positive. Or if a patient is having TB in the past but that was B negative and now the patient is having B positive TB so this should be considered as the first time TB. Point number two whether this is a first time TB or it, it is relapse. Point number three, pulmonary or extra pulmonary. Now these are the three questions you should ask in each case of TB. If any patient of uh, TB comes to you, you have to ask these, these three questions. Whether it is a B positive TB, whether this is the first time TB, whether this is pulmonary TB or extra pulmonary TB. Now these are the very basics. Based on this question we will proceed. Now how do you uh, diagnose a case of a TB? Now what is presumptive TB? Oh, all this my lecture is based on National TB Control Program, National TB Guidelines. Presumptive TB is the one in which there is a cuff for two or more than two weeks. Cuff for two or more than two weeks, yet not investigated. Now, this is very important. If a patient is having signs and symptoms of tuberculosis and yet not investigated, investigated this is a case of presumptive TB. This question is asked usually in the VIVA. So any patient who is having signs and symptoms of tuberculosis but yet not investigated investigated our definition or another definition is a patient is having cough for two or more than two weeks that is not yet investigated so how do you investigate uh, a case of pulmonary tb so we proceed with the chest x-ray we proceed with the chest x-ray followed by sputum for gene expert. Now this is uh, uh, based on this we diagnose a case of pulmonary tuberculosis. So uh, uh, regarding the signs uh, of tuberculosis on a chest x-ray I have discussed that in my previous uh, lectures and I have uploaded more than 50 x-rays in which almost 10 to 15 x-rays are only of tuberculosis real cases. So, chest x-ray is the first investigation you would do. Second is sputum for gene expert. This will confirm the diagnosis. Sputum for gene expert will confirm diagnosis. Now, sputum for a B. We can also advise that, but the sensitivity is only 40%. So, it means the 60% cases are, ma are missed by sputum for a B. By the sputum for gene expert, the sensitivity of it is more than 95%. So only 5% cases can be missed with the sputum for gene expert. Now you have a diagnosed a case of uh, a TB. What, what are the two significance of gene expert? First is it diagnose tuberculosis, point number one. Point number two, it also tells you whether there is rifampicin resistance are sen sensitive reformpicin status it also shows you 
the rifampicin status whether this is a rifampicin resistant tuberculosis or rifampicin sensitive now if a patient is having rifampicin resistant tuberculosis and the gene expert you would refer directly to mdr clinic refer to mdr clinic we will discuss later on in the future lectures what is mdr tb what is the diagnostic criteria how would you treat rifampicin sensitio and isoniazid resistant cases and rifampicin resistant and isoniazid resistant cases so gene expert has two advantages if someone asks you what are the two advantages of uh, gene expert first it diagnoses the tuberculosis second it also shows you the rifampicin status if it if it is sensitive start the treatment if it is resistant refer to mdr clinic now coming forward now if if case is a, a tuberculosis patient is diagnosed how would you start the treatment so we are having two phases initiation phase and continuation phase we will discuss that in the next lecture thanks for watching till now